Hi, I'm going to start by saying if you found this video, good luck at fixing your keyboard because I really doubt this will be the first thing you'll try. This is in very much cases the last case scenario. So here I have, I've just put it in the dishwasher and I did tie up the bag but as we'll see later that bag didn't go well. So the cycle you're going to want is about, I did about 35 degrees and I took it out before the rinse had finished. So it wasn't, as you can see it was steamy, so yeah don't put your camera too close. So uh, the wash was 35, 30 degrees and there was no detergent in it and it took about half an hour. And bear in mind this was the only thing in there. You don't want extra dirt from pots flying into your keyboard. And I set it down at the bottom so you got the jet from the top and the bottom but then the choice is really yours depending on your dishwasher. And there's, I thought I'd ruined it because I had swam it in the, the USB in the water. So here's the drying stage, it is the most important. You've got to make sure all the water's out before you plug it in. And don't forget there's little pesky, possibly you've got USB ports on it or elsewhere. And this does work for most keyboards I believe. So you just shake it out and then pat it down on the towel. And then repeat this and then leave it in there and cover it with something overnight. Or possibly over the boiler like I did for a few days. So after you've dried out thoroughly and time really is, you don't want to rush this. You want to make sure it works. So make sure, I just blew up, I'll check there was any last minute water. I didn't want to short my computer out. And then I just plugged it in and I was pretty scared at this point. Here we're just saying there's no surface water, so fingers crossed. And I was going to plug it in, and then you'll see for yourself if it did actually work. So I'm not, I've not done any cuts on this or anything. This is my first time pressing it. I was a bit nervous, and yes, the caps lock worked. So it's just showing that it does work because I've seen a few videos online, and I've not been completely convinced that it actually works. So I figured I'd show it as well, and I really would if I was going to. If this was a last case scenario and my keyboard was broken, because in my case the X key was broken and I tried taking it apart, I tried changing the little plunger, I tried changing the mechanism and it was still broken. And as you can see here, it works again. Now it must have been a bit of food or a bit of drink spillage underneath on the actual memory, on the actual controller, on the membrane. So hope, luckily in my case this worked. It's not going to work in all cases because some cases the actual physical connection will have broken but I'd say in a large majority of the um, liquid spill cases this is probably worth a shot because I mean as long as you've not shorted your keyboard out as long as you unplug it straight as soon as possible after spilling it you can probably minimize the damage quite a lot so yeah thanks for watching this video I hope you found it useful uh, good luck in doing it yourself or if you have a less extreme way of probably rinsing it under the tap or something remember do so at your own risk it is most likely it will work but then again in my case it's worked, so in your case it might not. So yeah, good luck. And just the rest of the video is just further proof that it works. You don't really have to watch it, you can leave now. So bye.